I'm a chef of Shoji cuisine. The Shoji cuisine is from the Zen temple. So I trained in the in one of the Zen temple. So how to cook, how to prepare, how to clean up, how to everything I learned and I mastered. So this cooking is very different from others. So it takes long time to work hard. I decided to open the restaurant in Tokyo. And the next to move to Kyoto, uh, I taught culinary art, University of Kyoto Art Design and Art School. Shojin is very mental cooking and very philosophical cooking. So I want to teach anybody who wish to learn. And the first dish, uh, this is symbol of Shojin cuisine, uh, sesame tofu. Sesame tofu is uh, beautiful, looks beautiful, white, and but it takes a long time. And this grind sesame is very important to cook, to meditate. And the second, this is a uh, soup, including some seasoned ingredients. So when we open the cover of this cup, people feel the season from these ingredients, the smell or color and uh, taste. Totally five senses. So the third dish is Aemono, uh, like a salada. Everywhere I went to abroad to have some event, I must go to the market first. So uh, I watch, I touch, I feel because this is a very typical atmosphere of the city. I watch eat vegetables and to say hello, hello. <laughs> and uh, how do you feel, uh, how are you? <laughs> and I had uh, some inspiration from these ingredients. This shoujin cuisine, I think this is oldest, but for me, it's very newest. <laughs> um, because nobody knows. But now, there are, there are many vegetarians increasingly. This is a good chance for people to taste to learn uh, this cuisine to be uh, healthy to be uh, peaceful <laughs> mindful <laughs> the last uh, course is the rice the meshi this time i cooked miso risotto because uh, it is very difficult to cook uh, the best condition of rice in europe i don't like Stay longer at the same place, but uh, I wish to go abroad to teach, to cook for others. To expand shojin is my mission. I won't say